Hey guys, today I want to show you a couple different places where you can delete materials in Maya. There are a few different places you can do this. The attribute editor is not one of them, at least I don't know how. <laughs> if you find the material in here and try to delete it, there's nowhere to do that. You can get to the tab and hit delete. It actually deletes your model. So I don't recommend that. In the outliner, you can choose to uncheck this DAG objects only, and it'll show you a whole list of everything that's in your scene. There are these ones that look like a sphere, a little ball. These are the materials. So I've got standard surface. These are like the Arnold shaders. These are the default Maya materials, right? And you can see I named mine. So if I select this one, like material tone and delete, and you can see it turned green. That green color is just the color that Maya gives something if there's no shader attached to it. So if that green color is bothering you, you just have to add another material back onto it. So add, let's add blue. Okay. So there. Another place you can find materials is in the hyper shade. So it's this button right here that looks like a a ball or an egg or something. You can also get to it from Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. See, it's that same little icon. So I'll click that. So this is the Hypershade. It has all of the materials in your scene. And you can just select them here and delete them as well. So say you want to delete everything in your scene, just click, drag, select all of them and hit delete. It won't delete these four default materials, like the Lambert one and the standard surface one, um, these you can't delete and there's no reason to. <laughs> so just make new materials and uh, color your objects. So say you have several objects in your scene that you want to recolor and you don't want to go around and select all of them. You can grab your material in the hypershade right click on it and do select objects with material that grabbed everything with that orange material on it. And now just out here, I can right click and say assign. Well, I assigned it to the white color. See, so I didn't have to go around and grab every single object. I just had to find the material in here and um, do select objects with material. All right. One more place you can find your materials is in the node editor. So let's clear the node editor, grab my object and hit the inputs and outputs. You can grab this, this is the shader, inputs, outputs. And here you can find the material. So this is the material that's on the object right now. So I could, I should be able to just grab this and delete it. Yep. And it deleted the material. Um, the last thing you can do is if you know the name of your material, then you can just go to the Mel tab down here at the bottom and type it in. So let's do delete match. Pterosaur color, and it did the same thing. So if you have your object, say you have the name right here, you can just double click on it, copy, come down into mill, delete, paste in the name and hit enter, and that deleted the material. So that was four different ways to delete a material and what this green color means. Just make sure you always have a material on it. And before deleting a material, I'll usually just replace it with another material. So before deleting that one, I would then grab, say, all of this. Terms of color, select all the objects with that color and do assign new material. So now I've got a new material over here 
rename this mm, Matt uh, Pterosaur Yellow. I don't know. And just so we can see the difference here. So now go back into the hypershade, right click, select all objects with that color, change them to yellow. And now if I delete that material, I'm not gonna get that green color anymore. There, I deleted it, it's gone, and I didn't, nothing turned green. So I hope that was helpful and have an awesome day and go make awesome stuff.